Hello, Lou here. And let's continue on the story. So last time, uh, May went to the library with B to try to figure out what the background of maybe this uh, apparition that she saw, or she thinks it's an apparition or a ghost. So, um, so they then found like. Uh, four places that they planned on maybe going to and uh, yeah let's see what happens so one of the places where some sort of like house I think and there was this graveyard and there was some sort of cliff I think um, and there might have been one more thing, I can't remember. But it was all like divided up to like what type of uh, like person you went with. Because one where where you went with Angus and one with Greg and one would be... So let's find those four places. Jump up. Well, let's just choose one side. to hold more up than down when I go here. <laughs>
So let's look at these messages. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Away message. Plans to be pitied as they cannot know how big and how cool they are. Dr. Kathy Kalkin, National Astronomy Ag Agency. Last night inspired me. For longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Now let's click this. Scientists rising sea levels will increase shark attacks frequently for obvious reasons. Let's hope there's no more sharks here. Oh yeah, not dim time. Okay, let's warm up with some base. But yeah. Uh, or actually... Yeah. Oh, this was the difficult ones. Well, I could just do it at the end and you guys can... Like... You don't need to listen to this. They are quite long, so... I'll do it at the end. Uh -huh. I will just do a quick look, but I'm pretty sure that this is just a one time thing. Yeah. If you like in games where to like do something 100%. I kind of hope that they would like stop you like when you try to go in it's like oh no I'm done there I think that's a good thing when you have games that do that like if you yeah if you absolutely don't need to go there anymore hey bird sorry I'm always rude to you She in a better mood now. <coughs> Morning sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache mates? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kinda working, kinda not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the 10 hours or so you already get. <laughs> You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library would be... That sounds nice. It was... Weird? Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, fun. Take it easy. You really look a uh, little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Just wanna never leave the bed. I love them. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. Gloomy little eel you are. Eels, mom. Eels, honey. Alright, I'm out. out. Bye bye, sweetie. <laughs> Time to look at some things. And of course, I need to go and check. There's never anything here, though. It's like. At least they could have like placed some people here. Oh, they opened up. Farming. I could farm. 
If I stay in town long enough, I could see uh, getting into uh, the farm life. The problem with farms is the amount of poop. Like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something and shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. before road. Awesome springs. You're not lost, you're here. After this, a few miles and you go under the highway. It's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall. And the haunted barn and brittle. Always next year. For campfires and corn dogs. Where that the town ends like bam, right here. There's like a line somewhere and no one can see, but you can put it on the map. Big uh, change in like houses and then suddenly nothing. ever steal undies. Hello. Hey little girl. I'm legal adult. Oh sorry. Who are you? Liz, I used to live here. Where? This building right here before you were born. Why did you move away? Went to school, wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better where you live now? It's nice. Cross and Springs is nice too. I think it's alright. It's alright. They're pretty alright. When I was a girl, about your... I'm 20... height. I used to lay awake at night, worried that statue would come to life and climb in my window oh geez that's spooky you never want someone hanging around outside your window not magical evil statues at least yeah nothing evil or magic should ever get that close i live in the attic no one can get to my window that's good not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. I'm glad we had this talk. Me too. See ya. <laughs> hey Selmers, you are great last night. Oh, thanks. Having to bounce ideas off help. I'm good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. This is a short one. Because I'm tired. Me too. So that works out. Um, I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. 
It's crazy making. What were you doing at the library? I got to the, to the library. I, I go to the, the library. No, but seriously. He talks about the alligators. I'm crying. I play a mean banjo claw hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know Long Black Whale? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? <laughs> yep, my dad likes that stuff. You know a Villa or Garden? Nope. Tim Dooley, I remember that from school. Like one of the first uh, like things we learned through play on the guitar. <laughs> okay. But is there something behind it? No. the rats. He thinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap. I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. What? I can't take it anymore? Does that mean that they're full? first. I guess I kind of dropped out. Oh. Let's do the answer first. It's my side hustle. Sally Salvage. What's that? I'm a gentleman, mate. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing the landscaping. But I'm also a purveyor of fine goods. For this and antique enthusiasts. Okay, sign hustle, yeah. You wanna come along? Or we'll ride back into the tunnel? Wanna be a short trip today, but might be fun. Oh, sure. Yeah, let's go on the ride. Uh, he's probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take one uh the kids over there. Hey teens. I'm gonna go on this boat now. Just saying like if anyone should ask. I got on this boat Mr. Salvi here. <laughs> okay, thanks. What was Okay, let's go. <laughs> Lots of folk from somewhere else drive past between Fort Lucien and Villa Grove, and they like going to antique shops out here. I think they think it's exclusive or something, and that's the hide side also. Wow, do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here we're coming up on one now. You'll see. This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my precious antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit. Look around and find something. 
Is it, this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of sediment and rocks and junk. Ah, uh, you called it junk too. <laughs> Find anything good? Uh, there's a racket here. <gasps> On the X. Oh, it's a thing. A sled? Really bad boat? Maybe you like sleep in the tiny garbage hammock. Should I take this garbage bed? <laughs> I'd rather pick that up than the. Uh, yeah, love me some mystery garbage object. Huh, big axe. Do I want big garbage axe instead of this other thing? Oh, so I can choose. Well, I don't want to hold the axe to be honest. Find anything good? This thing. This garbage thing. Oh, that's a. It's like a really bad boat paddle. For a very useless sh shield for fighting. It's a snowshoe. Oh. Never seen one before, I guess. I think you should have two of them. Uh, can I like hop? Snow hopper? Yeah, it's a snow hopper. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what happens if you pick up the axe. <laughs> and so he'd run over his own foot. No! With the mar. Ah! Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Gotta work. Oof. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah. What was that about? So there's a little panel back where you are. Gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Are we? Wait. Why? We got bats down here. So? I don't like bats. But bats like bugs. And bugs like the light. So you're gonna shine that light all around them to get them to scatter. Looking for bugs. They mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh, okay. Now get ready. We're coming up on the place they like to cluster together. Okay, I got it. There we go. Uh, up above me. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. There sure were a lot of them. Oh, I hate them. My bats are cute. Yeah, bats are cute. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, okay, okay. No bats. No bats. Alright, we're coming up on another island. Garbage! Ooh. Maybe I'll find the second snowshoe. I'm gonna look around. No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around. Eh. <laughs> You're sarcastic like your dad. Do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up and stood their old hunting camp. You get anything? 
Ed Grass got a nine six point buck. Oh nice. Alright, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. Find anything good? No. So there's something here. What's that? There's something... It looks like... Oh! Alright, it looks like those vampire teeth things. And this... Not sure, maybe it looks like a helmet? Oh my god! It's a coconut monkey! Like one granddad brought back from Hawaii. Do you want this coconut friend? Let me see what the other one is. Kinda stinky and soft. Holy shit. Dracula teeth. These are so rad. I could totally be a Dracula. Of all the false teeth in the world. Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent Dracula teeth? Okay, so let's get this one. She was more excited about the coconut friend than it. I don't know what that is. Welcome to the family, Mr. Monkey. I love you so much, and we just met. Can I? No, I can probably not trade it for that. Find anything good? Coconut monkey. Oh wow. Is it still good? Yeah, a little soft. And he smells like fresh water. But then he's all dried out. He's gonna be a regular member of the family. Hmm, alright. You're got, not gonna steal them for your shop or anything, right? Uh, no. Not even tempted? I think I can let this one go, mate. And that's how I saved long this night. Haha, <laughs> well, did you ever tell your kids? What? No. I'd spoil the magic. Did they ever notice your s neck scar? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. He ain't coming back anytime soon. Oh wow. Wait, sorry. Yeah, vampire. All right, we're coming about another bat nest. Do bat have nests? Whatever. Get the light ready and shine up there and get rid of them. Aye, aye, sir. Here they come. getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. Can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars. They were designed some, by some company overseas. Big and fancy like France or something. They're pretty. Yeah, 
They still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. So there's something here. This look like a football helmet. Oh nice. Football or official religion around here. Could totally wear this. It's functional. Could totally wear this in the winter in case I slip on the ice. Could wear this if I was in a fight. Could probably stop a bullet in the open. I don't know. It's, it smells inside though. Do you want this thing? Let's look at the other one. It's functional, but... Hmm. Oh, huh. I wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? It's a sport mystery. Worst kind of mystery. It's pretty though. Do I want this thing? Yeah, let's get that one. Could hang it on the wall. That'd be pretty neat. And then look up what what's it's even for. Cool, cool, cool. Find anything good? Check this out. Oh wow, that's an old hockey pennant. How old? Like really old? Uh, 1970s, 80s? Oh, that's like medium old. Yeah, the hockey team back then. Sure did. I sorry, I used to be out by where Ham Panther is now. Jeez, so much stuff used to be here. Well, it's still here. But yeah, lots gone. Any more, more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They play around on a good bit back he here though. Unless you clear them off before you get air. Where even are we? Almost to the far platform. Oh wow. Is that where we're going? Yeah, don't think we got rid of enough bats back there. For them not to be a problem back here. Oh, sorry. Ain't no worry. We head out head on to the far platform. There we are. Whoa. So that's it. That's the other mural. Right, so yeah, yeah. Basically, the only thing back here that survived the flood. I think, I think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. Wonder if it's like 500 years, some archaeologists will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. Hmm. You okay, May? Yeah. I'll be fine. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna look for a minute. Take your time. Poor me. job. Oh no, a competitor. I'm gonna get me a boat and go find some trash and sell it to rich dorks. That's the spirit. Take care. 
You too. Good luck. Guessing the point of no return is either at the different people's places. Hey, hey, what? Wanna hang out? I got plans later. Okay, well, I don't think you're gonna get kidnapped or anything. Yeah, sure. Up on my bike. Really? Where is it? Kind of behind the food donkey. I guess you could like run behind. Okay, fine. Sure, your bike's gonna be safe. Yeah, I don't think anyone's been in that shed for years. Sorry you fell off. It's cool. I feel so alive. Scrapes are cool like that. I skinned my elbow. I hit my head pretty hard. <laughs> well, let's go with the elbow one. I can like ride you to a hospital for a serious wound. Put the siren on. So, what are we doing here? Do you trust me? Never thought about it before. <laughs> but sure. Really? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Bye. What? Oh my god! Germ! Oh jeez, dude. Hey! What the hell, man? Jump, it's fine. For real? Ow! <laughs> dude, you scared me to death. Why? You jump off big stuff all the time. Yeah, but like, that's in town. Nice flat ground. Not like I can just go jumping off cliffs and whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot you grew up in town. So what are we doing here? Come here a lot. Wanted to show you something. You hang out at the sewer pipe? Are you showing me the sewer? I thought you'd be interested. I saw like 10 rats down here once. That's pretty cool. Let's look. Oh. Okay, so I started coming down here a few months ago to like just hang. Okay. And I noticed a oh, rat. Oh, hey, rabies. Ah, rabies is my sewer friend. Its name is rabies. His name is rabies. His name is rabies. I found him when they pulled that body out of here after that big flood a few months ago. Oh, neat. He was so sad and wet and hungry, so I brought him chips and ice cream. Sounds right. And I wanted to, the other possums not to pick on him. 
So name them after something they're all afraid of. This is the best story ever. He's so rad. Hey, rabies, speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna rule this whole ravine someday. You be nice to me, okay, rabies? I love him. You got any pants? I got some wraps downtown. Sweet. So, there are like weird stuff on the walls in the air. Ancient cave paintings. Not a few at least. What do you think it means? If you sleep here, you might drown. <laughs> Rabies is trash cake. Do rabies is trash. It's a prophecy written by ancient hellboats. There is like all kinds of secret places like this around town. I'm like the only person who really mapped it. Hey rabies, what you got there? Oh my god! Is that a fiasco bar? You want me to unwrap that for you guy? Holy effing crap. He is the best. You should take him home. No way. He'd pee, a lot, pee all over everything. And dig a hole in the wall and live there. Oh yeah. Rabbis is wild. Let him be wild. Ah, look. He's eating it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did the thing get over this thing? I can't jump that. No way you could have. There's no hole. How did you do it? I mean, I guess you could really be a ghost. I think he's a ghost. Ugh. What's out there? Oh my god. 
Well, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Try not to kill anything. No promises. Uh, there might be a point of no return if I talk to Greg, so... I'm gonna be a little careful with that. Thanksgiving. Oh geez, we need the jams. Better get them now before they're gone. There, there's gonna be like jam riots because not enough jams. Worse reasons. the stairs I guess this is also might be point of no return because of uh, Angus is around so let's wait one second there that might be that he's not here oh he is oh okay let's take a look Quick look at the over here. Is Greg here? Yeah, he is. Okay. So if those two are there, that means it should be safe to go into their apart or in their apartment area without accidentally going to point of no return. Okay. Let me see. I thought that was. Oh. What the hell is a malt? Oh, I can't go up there. Hmm. Can I jump down there? So. Is there anything else? Mm. I don't seem to be able to go up here. Mm, I can't get up here. And I didn't seem to be getting up there. But that's the only place I can actually, it looked like it can maybe get up, so... Yeah, I can. Yeah, let's go check up on the rats. And, uh, yeah, we still have a couple of other places. I can't believe they just leave the banned stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? I should start taking Greg's bass home. Just, you know, in case. All tickets. Kissing. Yeah, bees in there. Not any other people. I'm just talking about coffee and smoke. Let's get this over. Hey, you free? Maybe. 
want to go on a quick adventure? Did you have a job? Pastor's gone. I'm going to skip out. Let's do it. Yeah, let's skip work. I'm only skipping work on... Oh, hush. It's accessory... I'm an accessory to the crime. Also, not a crime, sweetie. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No. We have seen my friends and I when we were your age. Okay. I'm not used to you using any other Wii's. Believe it or not, I've had several Wii's. Huh. Used to be a lot more trees ar around up here. It got cut down when they put it in the towers. Don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? Some minor parts of history took place, yes. So what's this place? Jenny's Field. Ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter walking here. And the woman's daughter is in front of her. And then she just gone, like disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up. When that pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Yep, no one could see it because of the grass. Her name was Jenny. This is Jenny's field. They never found her. Just... This, <laughs> this is kind of creepy that the mom brings her kid there then. Gone. So wait, why are we here? What, you're not up for a little risk taking? Ah! What's wrong? I thought it was a sinkhole thing. <laughs> About that. Okay, what's that? For some reason, before unified, 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 pulled out, they brought this old lime furniture up on the mountain. Why? Who knows, Unifi did a lot of things. Looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny, but slower. We used to climb up there. Wanna try? Haha, <laughs> oh sweetie. Had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. And not much climbing. So, um, good thing this chimney is sealed up here. Ha, <laughs> yeah, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Um, Possum Springs and most of the valley. Yeah, let's do this one. What does it look like? A quilt? Like someone dumped a lot out some blocks? Well, that's a cozy valley. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have dreams when I was your age. Where I was in the big parking lot out by the tracks. And I'd start running, but there was a, always more parking lot. Hmm. What do you think it meant? Don't know. Feels weird to tell you what your dreams mean. Why? You're my mom. Fair. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. <laughs> that didn't work out. Rat. 
guess I'll just have to keep you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. Do you need to? No. Well, see you at home. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what the? <laughs> this is so weird. Spirit that was jumping. And I was thinking like, oh, that's probably how they went over the the pens. Bruce. Getting kinda cold, huh? Yeah, nip in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too. Real pretty out as well. I used to cry at night. At fall trees. I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Hmm. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Sorry. It's fine. Hey, my bro, Oski. Yeah. What are you doing back here? It's great to know you're back. No, just here for a day. I had to pick some stuff from Greg's mom. Rolling back to school tonight. Oh. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Dropped out, kinda. Same as you, just back for a day. Oh. Gotta be truthful. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, whatever. What are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. You still go crossbow hunting? Greg used to have a crossbow too, I think. Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. I was sh shooting at that tree over there. When I noticed there was some dude sleeping behind it. So I stopped. Oh yeah, that's Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh yeah, all the time. Well, tell them that cousin of mine, he needs to be to come see me out in the bright air harbor. Oh, yeah. Well, dude. He's not leaving here. Oh, I don't know. I think he should. Guy's gotta spread his wings. Maybe his wings are just fine here. Nah. Greg's too much for his town. Haha, <laughs> no argument there. See ya. Take it easy. <laughs> Greg's guessing, okay.
maybe the places that might be point on another turn. So I'll just choose I guess. Even though I kinda want to go with red, but um Yeah, I think Angus is the correct way. So let's try that. Jump over this area, and then it should be the next door. So I said I could like take you up to the park. You did indeed. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, I never get to hang out or something with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghost doesn't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need the evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello? And me saying, hey, I've verified you're a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghostly stuff. Ghostly stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghostly Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghostly Stuff. I'm May, and I saw a ghost, and this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is Maya. She's a crazy person. <laughs> the park. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take me us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once. Full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's head. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. Well, clearly. Let's do this one. I don't know. You can't go to the woods to, like, Socialize with the woods, I guess. There are some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed them, touch them if you want. <laughs> it's weird old place up here. There is all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. All stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp in the way up, I think. We see woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. <laughs> it's so typical when you are going with NPCs that the NPC is always going slower than you. <laughs> All. Sorry, you got away from me. Do you have an inhaler? Didn't you run across country back in junior high? Let's do this one. Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What's this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. Lime <laughs> kiln? Like a furnace. Oh, furnace for what? Limestone. You like do something with it in there and it becomes this other thing. Oh, limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like, it's all underwater or something at one point. No way! I mean, bugs don't like, like, right? 
where I were standing, there were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. shark bones up here I don't know there might be a I guess but not everything becomes a fossil why I don't know I'm not an expert in any of this there were definitely ancient sharks around here weird because things are so boring nowadays to think like all that crazy stuff are going on here that's always more weird stuff that happened. We'll find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Please. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Papa. Seriously, it's fine. Fine for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about like ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime still. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are like mon the most interesting animals. Maybe. I'll just do this. I love dinosaurs. Who doesn't? Things are were so scary and cool back then. We die in like five minutes, huh? Oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time did. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Oh, it's dark already. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in the possum massacre. That, like, labor strike thing. Where it was, like, the miners versus National Guard. What happened back in town, like, hundreds of years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys and some of the miners. I didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there is one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Ah, just bones. Ancient shark bones! Yeah, see, nothing left to be scary. Well, we're up really high. I'm really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what? Are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. 
Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That's always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at that longest night point barrier and we spotted the constellations together and you told us all about them. That's not a thing that ever happened. Oh wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what the fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations and you tell me about them. Okay then. Alright, let me find some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Ones, just ones I remember or dream that one time. Uh, whichever. Remember Mr. Sharko? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Andreal and has a telescope on his roof. Totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. We should have a telescope. Okay, let's see. Oh no, do I actually have to find them? shiny things and good at getting through the forest. I was really good at stealing. Oh wow, I, ca I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, when he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and become immortal or something.
Okay. Let's try over here. Okay, not that. on his back. Oh, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. Ha, <laughs> yeah. That's lucky, madly upsetting. You gotta wonder why these people made this up. I mean, like, this specifically. Saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something. I mean, whales are pretty big. They didn't know what the earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. <laughs> you could start. I think I heard that. 
Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me. And my mom didn't either. And like, um, You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot. And my mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me. She's why I literally like cooking now, huh? I really. Um, she's, like, showed me into the pantry and slammed the door really hard. And all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know it at all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day uh, at the time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd like to try to develop psych- So I'd like to try to develop psychic powers. So I could like signal the neighbors. Uh, or unlatch the door. Didn't work as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I like started feeling guilty for too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like being abused. I guess that's not your fault or fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I got experience. I can F some shipped up. Well, my mom is kinda old now. I uh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he's alive, I don't want to know about it. I guess I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like it. Yeah. Anyway, your original question. Testing out my psychiatrist abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science and I joined skeptic society on the internet and that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit and it gave me something to solve something I could debunk or know I don't know it saved me a little bit I guess because when someone does all that stuff to you it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts or God. Or no ghosts or God. So, like, I feel like if I've been through that, I would be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so, like, the constellations. I don't believe there's a whale out there. But I believe that the stars exist, and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We, we're good at drawing lines through the spaces between the stars. Like, we're finding, uh, like, pattern finders, and we'll find patterns. And like, and we, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to, so I believe in a universe that doesn't care. And people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God. But like God found them. Like when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later. Greg did. So like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, I guess. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Yep. So, I should 
should come out here more often. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Oh, look. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at to the right. That's the... That's the person that kidnapped the... The person in the earlier episode. Who? There's someone be standing behind us. In the trees. Holy shit. I wonder who's, who that is. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's like, that's the ghost. I wonder if it would make any difference if I had brought um, from the tunnel thing, if I brought the the axe and the helmet and stuff. I'm more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there! Out for a hike? Nice night? He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did, May. No. I saw you. Okay. Well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma. I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. Alright. Rawr! I can't move. They're moving by themselves. Shit. Wait. Wait. You okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or is it was some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids showing parties back there. I mean, partly we went up to where you threw up. Ugh. That wasn't too far from there. Ugh. Why does nobody believe me? Why? It's like every other explanation is more likely. And ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry. Grouchy. Hi, babe. That was scary. It's cool. It was. Ooh. Angus is psychic, <laughs> but his hat blocks it. <laughs> and the stars. No clues, but Angus saw him too. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, red night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I'm sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job doesn't require much like that. Yeah. Heard you 
and your mom went on an adventure today. Haha, <laughs> yeah. She talked about it at through all through dinner. You should, you know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Go to bed, you. Well, do. funny you see the eyes kind of pop to the different interest areas oh look at that so you can see the the foot thingy and the this whatever that was uh the monkey something what was the last thing I picked up? Um, what was this? That. Oh yeah, and it was something like old thing. But I'm not sure what it was. Oh, maybe it was the PS thing up here. Hmm. Let's see if there's any answers. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Did he not tell you about it? Yeah, it was gr great until it was super scary. You guys saw a weird creeper, huh? Yeah, it was the effing ghost again. Hold on. Angus is thinking it was a, a hunter. Buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what the hell? Put him on. Okay. Hey, mate. This is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird. But there were folks that live up there in the park and they're hunting camps and stuff so I was most likely a guy out for hunting back early dude I like felt it I know I don't know what to say about that I think we all three of us were spooked okay fine thanks for going and being brave and stuff and time I had fun you can put Greg back on Hey, 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 dude. I'm an artist. Were you doing art just now? Sure was. Alright, off to bed. Night, dude. Hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the park with Angus. How did it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did. Wow, okay, hold on. I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is an honestly str strident atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Why well, can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. He said it was probably a hunter. Ah! Okay, whatever. Sorry for what it's worth. I don't not believe you. Thanks. You have a good time otherwise? Yeah, I learned a lot about Angus. He had a kind of a rough life. Yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how do you know about this? Uh, because Angus and I have been friends like since 8th grade. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not like the glue holding all of us together. Angus kind of is. Oh. He's the common denominator. Me and Greg don't hang out. Hmm. 
Angus is good. He is. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Talk to you later. Hey, Ma. This is Greg. You and Angus are talking on my computer. Oh, hey. I'm Angus. I'm so smart and I have great ass. Blah, blah, blah. You two are talking a lot. Hold on. I'm drawing him a dirty message in the paint program. Let's set D with his hat on it and smiley face. I don't know what it even means. Looks like you two are wrapping up. Peace out, yo. Hey, Ma. What? <laughs> it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I can attest that this picture is kind of baffling. Good night. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, I guess that's it. I'll just do this in off camera since, yeah. But um, thank you for watching and hope you s to see you next video as well. And if you want to, you can like, share or subscribe. And yeah, have a good day or a good night. Bye-bye.